The B-21 Raider has emerged from the shadows, and it's more invisible than any bomber before it. The United States Air Force pulled back the curtain to reveal its new sixth-generation stealth weapon that's literally built to vanish. In a world where rival radars can track everything, the Raider plans to strike without warning. But what are the lethal capabilities of the B-21? And what does this new Raider signal to the world? Meet America's B-21 Raider on September 11, 2025, at Edwards Air Force Base in California. The second B-21 Raider lifted off from Palmdale and joined the flight test fleet in a shocking move. This signaled a change in the U.S. Air Force from early performance trials to deeper mission capability. This latest bomber is being called a true sixth-generation marvel with very different features from the previous legacy designs. Instead of simply being the next bomber, it represents a bold leap in stealth, flexibility, and strategic reach. According to early program documents, the unit cost of the B-21 Raider is less than half that of the earlier B-20 Spirit. This signals a conscious decision to build a survivable fleet instead of a few ultra-expensive platforms. Many details of the Raider remain classified, but the announcement communicates that the United States is preparing for the contested skies of tomorrow. The B-21 is preparing to be the linchpin of the Air Force's long-range strike and deterrence strategy. The B-21 Raider has arrived, but it didn't do so overnight. It turned out that the Air Force has been engaged in secret flight trials over the years. The B-21's secret flight trials. The B-21 Raider has been quietly slipping off its hangar and into the skies, away from public view and into one of the most intense flight test campaigns that the U.S. Air Force has run in decades. On November 10th, 2023, its first flight was confirmed from Plant 42 in Palmdale, California. Although the Air Force kept most of the details a secret, since then, the bomber has relocated its testbed to the Edwards Air Force Base, California, where the elite 412th Test Wings Combined Test Force is carrying out the B-21's developmental and operational test program. Flight sorties are now generated at a cadence of up to two per week, a sharp acceleration compared with past programs, and a sign that this aircraft is entering the next phase of validation. But make no mistake, as this isn't a typical first flight fanfare. The B-21's trials are layered, complex, and low profile. Before it ever lifted off, the bomber underwent extended ground runs, engine test cycles, and taxi testing to verify the structural and system integrity. With each sortie, the flight test team is pushing speed, altitude, maneuver envelopes, and system robustness, all while keeping all the information classified. Open source intelligence has revealed that radar cross-section, infrared, and electronic emissions assessments are currently underway. Some flight tests had the F-16 chase the B-21 too. The stress tests are focused on whether the B-21 can operate when everything is trying to detect it and shoot it down. That means testing tolerances, system failures, redundant pathways, and integration into the long-range strike force. For the U.S. Air Force, this phase is critical. The B-21's upcoming operational role demands a proven system based on stealth, reach, reliability, and survivability. And while much remains secret, the flight test tempo shows that the Raiders era is coming in fast. Although most details of the B-21 are classified, there's one thing that the United States Air Force doesn't want us to forget, and that's the fact that it has industry-leading stealth features. How the B-21 stays stealth. The B-21 Raider is a bomber engineered to disappear from every angle. While earlier stealth aircraft only focused on frontal attacks, the sixth-generation Marvel is built for all-aspect invisibility on the front, sides, rear, top, and bottom. From its glossy, smooth exterior to its sharply contoured flying wing structure, the B-21's shape is designed to scatter, absorb, and avoid detection from enemy radars. Every panel, seam, window edge, and intake is designed to minimize radar cross-section. Its air intakes are slender, embedded into the wing roots, and shaped to reduce reflection while in the skies. Radar is only one threat that the B-21 is prepared for. The bomber also focuses on infrared heat signature reduction, acoustic minimization, and electromagnetic emissions control. That means engines are deeply recessed, exhausts are shielded, and even the surface coatings have advanced radar absorbent materials to reduce detectability across multiple bands. That's why the Air Force is saying that the Raider generates a radar signature smaller than a mosquito. Previous bombers didn't focus on stealth on their sides and rear like the B-21. Traditional stealth designs like the B-2 traded rear stealth for aerodynamic performance, 
so it was easy to detect them from behind. The B-21's design covers all those vulnerable aspects, enabling deep penetration into defended airspace. The B-21 skin was engineered with a unique process. Its manufacturing process focuses on ultra-smooth surfaces, minimal panel gaps, and seamless transitions between structures to prevent any hot spots in the radar. Underneath, there are composite structures and ram layers that absorb or deflect incoming radar waves. This results in a stealth profile that remains harder to detect, even for evolved sensors. Aside from shape and materials, the B-21 has other features like carefully designed exhaust and engine placements to reduce infrared plume visibility. The bomber also has embedded sensors and antennas to avoid protrusions, internal weapons bays to remove all the hard points that increase heating signature, and architecture that makes it easy to upgrade without compromising stealth geometry. In this era of integrated air defense systems, survivability depends on being invisible and not just on facing the enemy head on. But the stealth feature is just one aspect that's making the new B-21 Raider stand out. The lethal features of the B-21 Raider. When you hear about next-gen bombers, the only thing you might think of is an invisible stealth plane. But the B-21 Raider is also a flying command center and a network node that might transform the way wars are fought in the skies. While the specific engine model is still classified, the B-21 is designed with global reach in mind. It is a dual-capable bomber, able to carry both nuclear and conventional munitions. Its airframe leverages internal space, with wider bays and a modern landing gear layout compared with its predecessors, giving more room for fuel and payload. That also means fewer tanker dependencies and greater mission reach into contested zones. The Raider is also built to coordinate, command, and control, not just attack. The platform is designed for manned and unmanned teaming, enabling the bomber to act as a central node in a swarm of autonomous systems. It will function as a sky sensor, collecting information, fusing inputs from the air, sea, land, and space sensors, and then distributing decisions and target links across the network. It will be hard for anything to evade its eye. The Raider is engineered for how threats will evolve tomorrow. From day one, its mission systems architecture has emphasized open systems, modular upgrades, and software-defined capability insertion. That means new sensors, new weapons, and new software packages can be added to the Raider without redesigning the airframe. They also plan to add cloud-based data, digital twin modeling, and continuous integration to reduce the time to upgrade and keep the B-21 platform relevant for decades. The B-21 is built for high-stakes environments where detection, decoy, and data all race at machine speed. Its capabilities include advanced sensor fusion, such as radar, passive RF sensors, electronic warfare apertures, data links, and real-time processing. This means that while a legacy bomber might drop bombs and leave, the Raider can see, decide, share, and then strike, all in an integrated fashion. Although it has stealth, the Raider is intended to penetrate the most heavily defended airspaces, deliver precision effects at range, manage its own external sensors and communications, and integrate into broader systems. The Raider is built with lower maintenance, faster upgrade cycles, and a future-proof design. By leveraging digital engineering, advanced materials, and modular architectures, the B-21 aims to reduce the high sustainment burdens expected from legacy stealth platforms. That means more time flying missions and less time in the hangar. When you piece all these features together, you realize that the B-21 stands out as the next bomber jet. It consists of a fleet of smart platforms underpinned by a command node, unmanned systems, agile software, and stealth that holds in the worst air defense environments. The bomber can pretty much organize a network strike. All of the B-21 Raiders features make it a battle management and long-range strike system. But another highlight is the revolutionary flying wing design that keeps it dominating the skies. The B-21's revolutionary flying wing design. When the U.S. Air Force unveiled the B-21 Raider, what caught many eyes was the shape. The Raider resurrects the classic flying wing configuration, long associated with stealth bombers, but with a bold evolution. Instead of the wide, stubborn 172-foot wingspan of the B-2 Spirit, the B-21 is scaled down to an estimated 132 to 150-foot wingspan, intentionally trimmed to shave radar cross-section while retaining range and payload. A flying wing has no vertical tail fins, blended surfaces, and minimal protuberances, so it's stealth gold. Without tall verticals or prominent impenetrable structures, the aircraft avoids many of the radar return surfaces that conventional tailplanes present. 
The platform is clean, almost silhouette-free, and will cast fewer radar shadows. By shrinking the wingspan relative to the B-2, engineers reduced the surface area exposed to radar and trimmed structural mass. The B-21 is roughly half the empty weight of its predecessor. The size reduction is about reducing the footprint that an adversary sees on radar. With a slimmer, tighter wing, the B-21 has fewer angles, edges, and reflections. The inlets for the engines are embedded and contoured, and less open surface means fewer radar catches. Instead of the aggressive sawtooth trailing edge of the B-2, the Raider uses a subtler W-shaped or smooth trailing edge, reducing signature without sacrificing aerodynamics. Another design detail is the material and manufacturing refinement, such as radar absorbent composites, smoother panel joints, and minimized protrusions, all important in a flying wing where geometry is your signature. Another aspect of the design is the lift and drag optimization. The flying wing platform distributes lift across the entire span rather than through wing plus fuselage. That means efficiency gains, and this is important when you trade stealth for size. The design of the B-21's flying wing is strategic. It allows it to slip into contested airspace with fewer observable cues. Reduced wingspan means less radar visible surface, and the blended surfaces mean there's less hard edge return. And all of this means freedom to operate where older bombers would be vulnerable the flying wing is stealth by shape and strategy, what the B-21 signals to the world. The unveiling and gradual deployment of the B-21 Raider carries a clear geopolitical statement. At a time when the U.S. faces evolving threats from the People's Republic of China and the Russian Federation, the bomber represents an effort to preserve America's strategic edge. China's military posture in the Indo-Pacific has increasingly focused on anti-access and area denial strategies, including missile batteries, layered radar networks, and long-range surface-to-air systems, all designed to keep U.S. forces at bay. The B-21 is designed to pierce those defenses by combining stealth, a long-range reach estimated around 6,000 nautical miles unfueled, and the to operate from within the continental U.S. or more, instead of relying entirely on forward-deployed airfields. That means the U.S. can potentially strike deep into contested zones, such as the Indo-Pacific Red Zones, Russian border air spaces, or other high-end theaters without any vulnerability in staging or support. Against both China and Russia, the B-21 serves as a versatile tool of deterrence by denial. It carries conventional and nuclear missions, signaling that the U.S. is prepared to operate beyond its previous boundaries. The Air Force is now scaling up its bomber forces instead of relying on fighters or standoff strike platforms, showing that they plan to continue dominating the skies. For allies, this matters too. The B-21 is a sign of the USAF's commitment to shared security in regions where adversaries are hoping to exploit gaps. It reassures partners that the U.S. still has the means to project power in deep strike, highly contested environments. This bomber also signals something about the U.S. industrial base and defense strategy mindset. Instead of a small, elite fleet of super bombers, the idea behind the B-21 is to field larger numbers, modular upgrades, and sustainment advantage. Some have also compared the B-21 to some new weapons from China and Russia. From China, there's the H-20 stealth bomber. The H-20 is a flying wing stealth bomber concept being developed by the People's Liberation Army Air Force to serve deep strike, nuclear, and conventional roles. It has a speculative range of about 5,300 miles, enabling strikes across the Indo-Pacific region from Chinese territory. According to the U.S. Pentagon, it's meant to debut in the 2030s. Russia is also coming out with the PAKDA, full name, Perspektivny Aviazioni Complex Dalny Aviazi. This is a next-gen stealth strategic bomber being developed by Tupolev. It has a range of about 7,500 miles, a crew of four, and module architecture for future weapons, including hypersonics. The first flight is meant to happen around 2027, although there are rumors about delays due to the war. The B-21 is furthest along in development and production and is acting as the benchmark. It's stealth combining nuclear and conventional and flying wing design. This is unlike the H-20, which is a deep strike stealth bomber, and the PAKDA, which features a hypersonic payload. But they are all stealth weapons expected to dominate the skies in the near future. The true price of the B-21. Although the new B-21 is expected to stand out in terms of stealth and capability, the price tag is not as hefty as you would expect. The Air Force's official fact sheet puts the average procurement unit cost for the B-21 Raider at $692 million in 2022 dollars. 
That figure includes the aircraft flyaway, support equipment, training, spares, and engineering change orders, assuming a minimum fleet of 100. The $692 million price point is dramatic when compared with the cost of the earlier B-2 Spirit. Depending on how inflation is applied, the B-2 ended up costing about $2 billion per aircraft in today's dollars. The B-21 aims to deliver a stealth bomber at roughly one-third the unit cost of its predecessor. There are several factors that make the B-21 cost-efficient. The unit cost target of $550 million in 2010 dollars was built in as a key performance parameter. Failing to meet it could penalize a bid. The program also emphasizes digital design, factory line manufacturing improvements, and reuse of mature systems instead of entirely bespoke electronics. Another reason why it's so cost-effective is the open architecture system. By designing avionics, mission systems, and maintenance around modular, upgrade-friendly constructs, the B-21 reduces life cycle cost and avoids major rebuy redesigns. With a planned initial fleet of about 100 against the tiny run of the B-2, which had only 21 built, spreading fixed costs over larger numbers lowers the per unit cost. The cost of the B-21 bomber matters for three reasons. For one, a lower cost per aircraft means the U.S. Air Force can build more units, which is vital for deterrence, patrols, and sustained operations. Secondly, with each bomber costing hundreds of millions, every unit competes with fighters, tankers, and space systems. Efficient costing means fewer difficult trade-offs. And finally, previous acquisition programs ran late and over budget. Delivering capability at projected cost builds confidence in the future bomber pillar. While the cost of the B-21 is low, there are still some risks. Its actual lifestyle cost might just exceed the flyaway cost. The Air Force has hinted the total cost of development, procurement, and operations for a fleet of 100 might actually reach $203 billion. Also, early production lots often carry a higher unit cost. Due to manufacturing issues in early 2025, Northrop Grumman took a $477 million hit as it ramped up B-21 production and also, the cost control assumes that the fleet size remains high. If procurement is cut short, the unit cost will climb. Still, the B-21 Raider delivers next-gen stealth and strike capability at a fraction of the legacy bomber price. Now, the world is watching what the U.S. Air Force has planned for their new B-21. What comes after for the B-21? The future of the Raider is now moving from classified documents and into the skies. With the ground and flight testing well underway, the next steps are clear. First up, there's full weapons certification. The B-21 must prove that it can deliver conventional strikes, carry and launch nuclear weapons, and integrate next-gen payloads such as hypersonics. The U.S. Air Force says that this phase will unlock the bomber's operational power. Meanwhile, the fielding of an initial capability is set for the later 2020s. The first production representative units will transition from test fleet to combat-ready status likely at bases such as Ellsworth Air Force Base or others being prepared now. Beyond the first handful, the plan is to build a fleet of 100 to 200 aircraft through the 2030s, replacing older bombers and ensuring reach, flexibility and deterrence in a contested global environment. These early B-21s are being built with production tooling from day one, so when they become operational, they will roll into service without large retrofit bills. The next-gen weapons they'll carry, such as uh, standoff missiles, deep penetration weapons and hypersonic systems are already queued for integration. Once the B-21 reaches its first operational squadron, the U.S. Air Force will retire legacy platforms and shift to long-range, stealth-penetrating missiles at scale. The bomber will dominate the air for decades. Utro, the question now isn't if the B-21 will enter service, but how fast and how many. Because in a world where rival states like China and Russia are racing too, delay means disadvantage. For the USAF, the new B-21 Raider is expected to change the skies, and it's more invisible than ever. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all global military events.